So I have a habit of watching the trailers to find out if there are any new films worth to watch. And I came across the trailer Artemis Fowl by Disney. So this was supposed to be a book franchise which is now completely ruined. And it really isn't that unique when it comes to book adaptations, but rarely to this degree. So in this video I'll be trying to explain what exactly is shown wrong in the whole trailer. Most people will agree with me. And uh, why it is hated by the fans of the books. The Artemis Fowl book series on the Wikipedia page is identified by eight fantasy novels written by the Irish author Ian Colfer featuring the criminal mastermind Artemis Fowl II. Now Artemis Fowl II, his age is just 12 years old. How did he become a criminal mastermind? What was the determination behind it? Well, it's um, his father disappearing with humongous amounts of the family funds and um, his mother being clinically insane. All of this served to strengthen Artie's determination to embark on a journey of crime just like his ancestors. The whole foul, uh, the whole foul manner is in it. At the age of 12, Artie's feats were astonishing to say the least, but he wanted humongous fundings and hence was struck with the idea of finding gold at the end of the rainbow. He went around the world to determine if myth held some ground in reality, and after six hoaxes, he found it in Cairo, Egypt. And so ensued a diabolical plan of kidnapping an active member of this alien society and demanding a ransom from them, you know, every day. So this is how it all started. So our focus here is definitely Artemis Fowl, the 12 year old genius who is supposed to have the highest IQ tested in Europe but is also known for a lack of coordination and athletic ability. And in the first book, he kidnaps Holly Short, a female fairy and a captain of the Lower Elements Police Reconnaissance Force, or else Leprechaun. He holds her for ransom to restore his family's fortune. But in the trailers, he seems like a nice boy with that starry-eyed look and physically capable it was just shown by doing kendo and uh, surfing <laughs> and mentally he seems to be growing I mean his father even complimented him when the whole reason behind the determination was that his father's not there and instead of him being the cold calculating and manipulating mastermind he just just seems so nice completely different from the book some people also pointed out that he doesn't really look like 12 years old or he looks like he would rather be shot dead than wearing jeans and a hoodie <laughs> but believe me that's the least of our problems holly short is the leprechaun captain who got kidnapped and can be assumed as the female lead Unfortunately, she suffers from the Disney Princess Syndrome by looking completely white. I mean, I don't know what happened. Maybe she be, it took a bath and some washing powder because her skin was not brown yeah. in the books. And because she was the first female in the force and she faced heavy gender discrimination. Now this alone could be a Wonder Woman-ish side plot that would have developed perfectly if how a female lead is overcoming misogyny and all that stuff. But fortunately, they showed someone else as a female in the force. So the whole thing is dead. 
and she's even shown as an ally to the fowls but she was kidnapped she was willing to shoot him dead in the first book now uh, <laughs> Julius Root who is a male commander with masochism to his bones and i mean being a tyrannical force a dominating force not 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 the bad way okay and i'm emphasizing this because Holly Short was supposed to be the first female in the force uh, but yeah hollywood is at it again and um the women empowerment stuff right down the drain and then there is the butler oh my god dude there are so many mistakes with him i don't even know where to start he's casted wrong he's um some kind of guide to artemis introducing him to this new world to these new gadgets but artemis fowl is a damn genius criminal mastermind who knows everything and what he doesn't know he figures it out on his own this kid cracked an unknown language translated it to some existing one i mean he's a damn genius and butler in the novel just followed him through and through the trust between them was amazing and he was supposed to be a bit of godfather like character due to him protecting young arty from childhood so there was a special bond but he would follow anything and everything artemis fowl said some people have guessed that that villain in the hoodie is opal cowboy the crazy pixie introduced in the latter part of the series she and animus in the novel had a lot of similarities actually and hence became a near perfect villain for artemis fowl to not only progress the plot but also develop characters but here <laughs> here she is just reduced to rubble <laughs> she's shown as this um this big hero six like villain who i'm sure has an amazing plot or something to destroy in i believe 2 minutes less than 2 minutes i think that's how much the trailer is i don't know I don't remember my nightmares very well. But Mudge Diggins is the kleptomaniac criminal dwarf who has been involved in crime for 4 centuries when considered with the average dwarf lifespan. Not that old boy. He was once a mining dwarf but later decided that stealing from mud men humans suited him much better. And that's probably the one disney has somehow not thrown out of the window but i think that's because the trailer didn't uh, show him enough they'll probably ruin him don't worry we have faith now the plot in the trailer is pretty obvious i know not all details will be known since this trailer and not the complete movie but it's not inception's trailer The general storyline is pretty easy to guess. Ardy's dad took something important to protect people and hence was imprisoned by the evil guy. This led Ardy was fouled to complete his awakening, his training faster than determined and Butler introduced him to the family business, the property that his dad stole must have been so important that the fairy world is out to hunt him and his family of course. Holly and Mulch team up with Ardy, defending the house, saving his dad. <laughs> oh, save the world, oh, man! That's cringy. The world didn't know they existed, anyways. This is not Men in Black. Come on. And um, <laughs> and in the midst of it all, Julius Root somehow knocks some soldiers unconscious. Like, why? What? 
I'm probably sure she believed some speech given by Holly of how these humans have been saving the other ones. They are the good ones. So kill your own soldiers. Because that's what you do, huh? <laughs> and then, yeah, some random blast. Some, oh my god, they are using the fairy weapons. Boy, and then Artemis Fowl is run from a troll? Yeah, that troll is... Oh my god. <laughs> Until Disney decides to make a sequel or the next book to destroy... I mean, adapt. All in all, the fans actually expected it to be turned into a series or at least four movies because of how good the story is and if it's a series they could just churn out they, they could just develop all characters in there and believe me there's so much development they could have some background scenes they could have some um in the past kind of flashback-ish scenes it was oh man the dream was so good reality shattered it so yeah Man, I wanted to end it on a high note, but I guess I'll just find some good music to compensate. Like, share and subscribe and comment down below whether you agree with the video or share some different opinions, which you are free to do. Don't worry, you won't disable the comments. By the way, check out the comments in the original trailer. <laughs> they are hilarious. But first, read the book if you haven't. So you would understand why my points are damn important if you still think it's just me. It's fine, it's fine. Like, share, and subscribe. Have a, have a very good day. Unlike us.